I wonder if you've ever been falsely accused of something or mistreated or unfairly done by. Chances are you'll say all three of those. And quite recently, it's a fact of life that all of us will face that kind of treatment at some point. And the question for us as maturing believers in Jesus is how do we respond when that happens? It's very easy to react out of our hurt or our disappointment and launch out at other people. And uh, as you know, I'm sure you know, that just makes things worse. Uh, when we react, they react, and the whole thing escalates. So how do we bring a, a soft answer? See, the book of Proverbs says a soft answer turns away wrath. So how do we bring a soft answer when we are dealing so much with, with uh, disappointment and hurt and letdown? Well, um, this simple message I'm going to give you now is a simple tip that uh, Pastor Kathy Gray taught me back way back in 2000. I've used it in my own life. I've counseled my children to use it when they've had situations with friends in the schoolyard. I have used it uh, in countless settings with other believers as well, uh, where I've been supporting them and helping them. So essentially what Pastor Kathy taught me is that you have to use a, this phrase or a variation of this phrase. Essentially, just remember, if, if someone accuses you of doing something wrong, where you have been treated unfairly, or you feel that you're falsely accused, you simply say, I'm really sorry I felt that that you feel that way. I'm really sorry that you feel that way. That wasn't my intention to hurt you. Please forgive me. Now, here's what that does. It, you might feel 100% vindicated that you've done nothing wrong. In my experience, uh, it's very rare that none of us have done 100, 100% right. Uh, there might, there should be at least 1% or 2% of stuff, if not more, that uh, that we do wrong because we react out of our flesh sinful nature. But even if you were 100% right, that statement is not, uh, is, is not a, a lying statement because you're saying, if I've done anything wrong. Now, if you know that you've done something wrong, by all means, don't just say if you've done something wrong. Tell them your part. Tell them what you've done wrong. But if you think that you can't really think of anything or you don't believe you're wrong, just say, if I've done anything wrong, that wasn't my intention. In other words, you're saying, look, I didn't mean to hurt you. But what you're also doing is you're acknowledging that the other person's perception is their reality. Whether you agree with that reality or not, it is their reality. They feel hard done by. They feel like you have hurt them in some way or offended them, caused offense in some way. And so when you say, I didn't mean to cause offense, you're actually taking it upon yourself, honestly. And you're saying, look, I'm sorry if my actions have caused you offense. And then you say, I'm sorry. And then you say, would you forgive me? And when you do that, Pastor Kathy described it like taking a, a game of tennis where you hit the ball into their side of the court. Because the moment you ask for forgiveness, the responsibility is onto them. And they have to do something with that ball. They have a choice now. They can come back with, yeah, but you did this and you did that and you shouldn't have done this and you shouldn't have done that. At that point, you just simply say the same thing. Look, I'm really sorry. I really am sorry that that has happened. That wasn't my intention. I'm asking you to forgive me. You're not trying to justify your actions. You're not trying to prove yourself right. You're just acknowledging it and saying, I'm sorry, would you forgive me? The moment you do that, it's just a gentle lob of that ball back into their court. And they might smash it backwards and forwards a few times, but if you just keep gently lobbing it back, sooner or later, they will give up or they will forgive you. And that is how you bring peace. That's what the Bible means when it says a soft answer turns away wrath. So if you do that, I can tell you from my own personal experience that that will help a lot of situations to dissipate very quickly. And you can bring a lot more peace into your world just simply by using that simple phrase, if I've done anything wrong, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to cause offense, would you forgive me?